infinite to-do list. You ever work on a to-do list and then you get through halfway through it and then you remember other stuff, so you start adding to it? If you're not careful, you realize that to-do list never ends. Hi, my name is Damon Brown of DamonBrown.net. My main thing is helping you as a side hustler, a solopreneur, or otherwise a non-traditional entrepreneur. If this is the stuff that you like, be sure to subscribe for free and come to you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Vegas time, here, obviously, in Las Vegas. Today, we're gonna to talk about earning your life. And we're talking about the queen of emotional intelligence, Brene Brown. She has an amazing quote that I've actually shared in a few of my keynotes. I think I might've mentioned it in my latest book, Career Remix. I just finished writing the book, like I mentioned in there. I've done so many books, it's such a process that you know you kind of kind of blend the different things in. But there's a wonderful quote from Brene Brown that talks about this, and I'll talk about how it's impacting my life and how it can impact yours. Here's her quote: You either walk inside your story and own it, or you stand outside of your story and hustle for your worthiness. Such a powerful quote. In fact, there was a keynote that I did earlier this year. Shout out to y'all over at the Entrepreneur Conference, and this is how I kicked off the keynote. It's so important for us to know our worth. When she talks about story, my interpretation is the narrative, the, the history, the um, superhero origin story, and accepting that. And as I've said in other videos, in fact, you can check out the playlist uh, with uh, Brene Brown and other emotional intelligence. It's uh, over at youtube.com slash Brown Damon. It's one of the first links up there. If you check out their playlist, you'll see this discussion about owning our story. It's so important. But this ties into us actually earning our story too. We can have a story, we can have this richness, we can have these resources, but we can be worried about earning it. I've been thinking about this a lot because I've been taking a lot of breaks. It's summertime here in the United States. We've had about a year, year and a half of sheltering in place. I got two little kids, I'm the primary caregiver. We're finally starting to get a little bit of breathing room and now I'm starting to take breaks. And it's been so much judgment about taking a break from relatives, colleagues, society in general. Even though we've all been working so, all been working so hard and struggling as we've been going through the pandemic, as we've been um, doing the virtual schooling, as we've been sheltering in place, the emotional labor we've been taking on has been so heavy. As Celeste Headley talks about in her book, Do Nothing, which I actually have a video about it, I'll be sure and share that in the links. As she talks about, we have so much guilt, particularly in the Western society, about resting, about stopping, that we actually have to earn what our bodies need, which if you think about it, sounds ridiculous. I'm gonna take a nap today. I'm gonna take a nap because I worked really hard this morning. No, how about you take a nap because you're tired? This was not a revolutionary concept back in the day, but in our knowledge worker age, if you wanna call it that, it is a revolutionary concept. We have to earn us being able to have pleasure, earn us being able to, to get rest, earn us to be able to stop. Now it's probably a function of capitalism, which requires a whole different video and a lot of thesi, thesi, thesi that I'm not gonna get into right now. But what I wanna talk about though, is when you think about earning what you rightfully already have, it presents two big challenges, particularly when it comes to getting rest. Number one, earning implies that you don't actually naturally deserve it. There's something um, dark about saying, I'm going to do this, I'm going to have this moment because I earned it. As I mentioned in other videos, I just finished my new book, Career Remix, how to get the gig you want with the skills you've got. Look forward to y'all enjoying it January 11th of 2022. It's available for pre-order everywhere. And I just finished the manuscript. It's a long book. In fact, it's one of the longest books I've ever written. I won't even get into the word count, but it's long. And me taking a break and feeling like, okay, I did this long manuscript to turn it into my editor because I'm doing a different process now, so I have an outside editor. Now I can take a break because I earned it. As opposed to just saying, I need a break right now, so I'm going to take one. There's a huge difference in that language. And we end up burning ourselves out. We end up feeling guilt and shame when we do take a break. And as I know with a lot of people, I don't have this issue, which I'm very thankful for, but there's so many people that I care about that when they do take a break, they feel guilt and shame so much that they don't actually stop. In fact, some of my clients are struggling with this because we've been programmed. <laughs> I don't mean to get tinfoil hat with you, but I mean, from a systemic standpoint, we've been programmed to think that if we stop, 
there must be something wrong. We stop when we get sick. We, we, uh, we stop after we work extremely hard and then we stop. We have to earn our ability to stop, even though our body wants us to stop. That relationship isn't sustainable. As I say to my coaching clients, if there's a system or a way that you're living today, is it possible for you to live that way, say five years from now? Is what you're doing sustainable? It's so important to do that and have that conversation with yourself. For me, it's meditation. For me, it's doing long walks. For me, it's a nap. I try to get a nap in every single day as I've written about in my books and on this channel. There's different ways to keep that balance. Career Remix is my 26th book in 15 years, about 15 years or so. That is a lot of output. There's no way I could do that level of output if I didn't take care of myself. But if I wait until I earn the ability to take a break, then I'd be burnt out. I, I'd, be, I, I'd be dried up. I wouldn't have as much knowledge. I wouldn't be able to refresh myself. I talk about this a lot. Ultimate Bikes as an entrepreneur about the cycle of pursuing, doing, and renewing. I'll shoot up the, I'll shoot up. <laughs> I promise I won't shoot up. I have a video that talks about this, but also you can grab the book. It was a bestseller back in the day, so thank you for all the support. But there's a natural cycle to how we create. The number one, earning implies that you don't deserve it. Number two, we're less likely to accept it when it's actually here. Um, Jeanette Hurt and I talk about this in our book, The Passive Writer, um, quite a bit, but I also talk about that again in the aforementioned Ultimate Bites as Entrepreneur, where we tend to have flagpoles. And those flagpoles, if we were not, if we are not careful, tend to move. I also talk about this in my TEDx Toledo talk from 2018, I believe, that was called um, uh, Why You Should Strive For Good Enough. Or we tend to have these infinite lists, these infinite to-do lists. I'm looking for my index cards, which I think are back here. These infinite to-do lists. You ever work on a to-do list and then you get through halfway through it and then you remember other stuff, so you start adding to it? If you're not careful, you realize that the list never ends. Particularly, you know, I, I have a, my partner, we got two kids, we have an active household. That to-do list is forever. So that means I would never take a break. You would never take a break if you had the to-do list that would go on forever. Most of us have to-do lists that go on forever. We never earn it. Before we know it, and I have relatives that are going through this, years, decades have passed by. I have late rest, relatives, rest in peace, who did not take a break or a vacation until they were in their 60s or 70s. They had the options to do so, so then gratitude for that, but they didn't because they didn't feel, feel realize that they earned it yet. So building that stuff in, not only is important as far as to our health, mentally and otherwise, but it's also important to us being productive. My main thing is to serve you, the side hustle, the solo entrepreneur, and the non-traditional entrepreneur. If I don't take care of myself and I have to earn my ability to rest, I'm not gonna be able to be there for you. Hope this was insightful for you. If you want more insight, be sure and check out the one, uh, the playlist on smart, creative habits and routines. It gets to, to all this. And be sure and subscribe and like and share with folks that need to hear this. Until next time, remember to bring your worth that you can always build from now. Take care.